Hey guys, I'm here with another video um, showing you how to um, replace a master switch on your 2003 Ford Expedition. Um, I apologize, I haven't made a video in a while. i um, just been busy uh, working on other cars, so I will have other videos coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, this car that I'm working on is a 2003 Ford Expedition. Uh, in the particular case of this one, um, the switch works um, on the way down for all all the switches but when I try to roll the windows back up I have to push the switch extremely hard and wiggle it around in order for it to work um, eventually the window will go up but um, the customer has been complaining about this happening a lot so uh, I went on ahead and ordered a new switch I ordered a doorman switch part number 901-339 um, you can see that here. See if the camera will focus on me or not. There you go. Um, yeah, I ordered that. It cost me uh, $37. I got it from uh, rockauto.com. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how to get to it. It's very easy to do and um, anyone could do it. So here you go. First you want to do is uh, locate the switch. Obviously this is here. Um, all you have to do is just, um, if you have a screwdriver, you can. I actually just picked it up with my fingers. Um, you would want to stick the screwdriver right in here in this area. Right here in this area here. And you would just pry up. Like I said, I just did it with my hands. I just picked it up. And um, as you're picking it up, pull it, pull it back towards you. And, um, and the, and the uh, entire assembly will just come out. Then you'll be looking at all the uh, switches here, as you can see. Um, the one you'll be after obviously is this big one here um, so you go ahead and disconnect this connector here and you can disconnect the other connector this one doesn't want to come out there we go um, and after that you'll notice that the switch is held on with these little clips here one two and then there's three, four. You want to take your screwdriver and stick it right in to this space here and just open it up a little bit in order to pull the switch out. So after you've done that, I've already done that. After you go ahead and do that, you just pull the switch out. Here's the old switch here. I'll go ahead and uh, just reinstall the new switch. I don't know if you can hear this on the camera, but you can definitely tell that this one is worn. When I hit the down button on the driver's side, you can hear the click. I don't know if you can hear that. And when you push up, you can hear the click as well. On the old one, you can hear the down click, but you can't really hear the up click. So the contacts inside are probably worn out a lot. So um, this, luckily this is pretty inexpensive. So I'm going to put the new one in now. You just go ahead and snap it into place here. Just like so. Make sure you got it all seated down properly where it needs to go. You might have to push it up on a little bit just to get it to sit right. There we go. And you go ahead and reconnect your connectors. And after that is done, you can just, at this angle, push it back into the door here underneath the door trim, or underneath the uh, door handle trim, push it under there, and then just push it straight down. And there you have it. After that, you can go ahead and test for operation. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Um, like I said, I'll have a, you know, a few more videos coming up. I apologize. I've not been uploading as frequently as I like to. Um, I just get very busy working on cars. So, um, but nonetheless, I will have videos for you guys. And, uh, as always, you can leave me a message if you would like to see videos on certain things. And, um, 
If this is your first time to the channel and you like this, uh, please feel free, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Um, that way you can stay tuned with what I have coming up. Um, I did have my giveaway already. Um, I selected a winner for that and they got the, uh, the scanner. So I'm going to try and have a giveaway every 100 subscribers. So I'm at 130 now. So once I hit the 200 mark, um, I will be having another giveaway. So, uh, you know, if you like this, hit the like button and just share it with your friends. I really appreciate it, you guys. All right, I'll talk to you soon.